Welcome back guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to use materialize CSS inside your react.js project and also I will create a simple slider component using materialize CSS. Ok guys, let's move on. First of all, let me create a brand new react project. To do that, new terminal, npx, create react app and I'm gonna name it material plus react okay it takes some time so let me pause the video and come back again after the, the node module install okay now we can go to a folder and I'm gonna load the project npm start yes uh, we can see the project in our browser and uh, yes it is fine now so let me come back to the just code and I'm gonna go to our root component after js and I'm gonna create a component new component called slider and I'm going to use it inside this root component. In order to do that, I'm going to create a folder called component. And inside that component folder, I'm going to create a JS file called slider.js. And there, I'm going to create this uh, slider uh, class component. Okay, guys, now let me. Some sample name, let's say slider, and now I'm I have exported this uh, slider and I'm gonna use it inside the app.js. So let me delete and let me use slider, let me import it first and let me. and I'm gonna use it okay guys now it's, everything is fine and now I'm gonna use materialize uh, CSS classes we can actually materialize CSS as a grid system just like bootstrap I can use a container I can use row I can use columns and now let me create a div with class name container and inside that I'm gonna have another div with class name row and inside that I can use class name color just like booster if you're familiar with booster you can easily learn uh, material CSS and, and let me name it uh, just column 1 and I'm gonna copy this and let me yes column 2 and now we haven't installed material CSS and let's see the view okay now it's uh, in uh, block view and it's uh, one after the other and let me install material CSS npm install material CSS I'm gonna get the latest ver version and uh, yes let me install it and uh, yes now it's installed and uh, still it's same because we haven't import uh, materialized classes let me import it yes, let me import it and now you can see the difference Okay guys, now you saw the difference and now we have successfully installed material CSS and we have imported that one. Now let me go to the yes, material CSS side and now we have slider in media section and I'm gonna use that uh, code inside our component. Before that let me create a container and let me insert that code. 
and the purpose of this tutorial is not to learn about sliders but to use uh, material CSS inside our React project so I have copied that one and let me do some cleaning and yes it shows some errors that's because we are using JSX not HTML and after that yes you can yes we have to close ourselves close in track yes for image tag yes now let's use some beautiful images and let me go yes i'm gonna use these images inside our slider okay i'm gonna copy and paste and one thing guys we have to use class name instead of class but uh, i haven't done it here you can do it when we are doing this sample because otherwise JSX will complain about uh, that. Okay, now let me still actually it doesn't show anything because we have to initiate uh, our code. For that we have uh, we have to use component did mount, and I'm gonna use that initialization code inside the component in component did mount okay, let me use that one we don't this is the slider i'm talking about so we, we have no options and i'm gonna pass an empty object and let me yes now you have a beautiful slider component which may fit material css and react I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.